solar system. Welcome to Houston. We need you to complete the mission that the UN has given us. Are you up for it? You have to investigate the solar system and collect all the information possible. The mission is in your hands. Get on board and take off. The mission is going to begin. Push the red button when you're ready. Have a good trip. Five, four, three, two, one. You are in outer space. Look how beautiful the solar system is. The solar system is part of a galaxy called the Milky Way. The solar system is made up of a great star called the Sun and eight planets. There are also moons or satellites that rotate around the planets. The planets spin around the Sun. This movement is called revolution. Thanks to that, the length of a day and night changes and there are different seasons. They also spin around themselves. And this is called rotation. Thanks to this movement, the length of a day and night changes as well as the temperature of each area. Each planet makes two movements at different speeds and distances around the sun. Because of this, a day lasts 24 hours on Earth and 243 earthly days on Venus. I will explain these concepts with more detail when we go to Earth. Our first stop is the Sun. Hold on! Now we are near the Sun, the solar system's only star. We can't get much closer because the temperature is extremely high. The Sun is the center of the solar system and all the planets make their orbit around it. Hello Earthling, it's so hot! I'll tell you some interesting things about this star. The Sun is enormous! Its diameter is 109 times bigger than the Earth's! The energy the Sun gives off is necessary for life on Earth. It is important to protect yourself from the sun. Its ultraviolet rays are very harmful to human skin. The sun is a ball of hot gas that is made primarily of hydrogen and helium. If we traveled on a passenger plane from the Earth to the sun, we would need 20 years to make it there. That is definitely a long trip. Mercury, the closest planet to the Sun. Even so, it isn't the hottest because the atmosphere is really thin and doesn't trap the Sun's rays. There is even ice in some of the cold and dark areas where the rays don't reach. It is grey and has a bunch of craters due to the meteorites that hit it. Be careful, they can hit you! Hello Earthling, welcome to Mercury! Life has never been found here. I will be the one to tell you some interesting facts about the planet. Many years ago, it was covered in graphite, a mineral that is used to make pencil lead. Today, there are remains of this mineral. Did you know that Mercury is the fastest rotating planet around the Sun? It rotates at 50 kilometers per second and it only takes 88 Earth days to complete one trip. As you can see, on Mercury there are meteorite showers that make it the planet with the most craters in the solar system. Earth's core is so small that its gravitational force is lower than on Earth. This means that 1 gram on Earth is equal to 0.38 grams on Mercury. We already know a lot about Mercury. The next planet we'll visit is Venus. Now 
long we're on Venus, the hottest planet in the solar system. It has a really dense atmosphere causing a greenhouse effect that traps the sun's rays. That is why it is so hot. You don't happen to have a fan, do you? Welcome to Venus, the planet of love! Here, there used to be a big ocean like on Earth, and because of that, it is possible that there was life. However, the ocean disappeared for unknown reasons. I will tell you some more facts about Venus. The name Venus comes from the Roman god of love and beauty, since its shine reminds of her. Venus is also known as Morning Star or Evening Star because from Earth it can only be seen at sunrise and sunset. On this planet there is a lot of volcanic activity and we can find basaltic rocks, like the ones used for construction. Do you know that Venus's rotation is opposite from all the other planets in the solar system? More than 40 unmanned spaceships have explored this planet! Did you like this quick trip around Venus? Our next destination is the Earth, where we will learn interesting things that maybe you didn't know about! Hold on! Now we are on Earth, a planet full of life. That is why it is so important for us to protect and take care of the environment. Hello Earthling! I am going to tell you some interesting facts about the planet where you Earthlings come from. Like the other planets, the Earth rotates around the Sun and it takes 365 days to complete a full orbit. We call this a complete revolution. Thanks to this revolution, we have different seasons throughout the year and days and nights have different lengths. At the same time, the Earth rotates around itself and it takes 24 hours to complete a full trip. This movement is called rotation. The Earth's rotation is responsible for the change between day and night and for the rising and falling of temperatures. Did you know that many years ago people thought that the Earth was flat like a pizza? Now you can see the Earth has the shape of a sphere. Approximately 70% of Earth's surface is covered in water. Great! We have really learned a lot! Should we continue our trip? Let's go to the moon! We are now on the moon the only natural satellite that belongs to the planet Earth. We always see the same side of the moon because it takes the same amount of time to rotate around itself as it does to orbit the Earth. On the moon, there are a lot of craters made from meteor showers that crash against the surface. Surface. Now we're on the moon! Isn't it cool? Life has never been found here. But we know that the force of its gravity allows for life on Earth. It is responsible for the tides that are on Earth, and without it, the sea level would rise along the coasts. On the moon, we can find a lot of minerals, for example, ilmenite, from which we can get oxygen. The moon is the only place outside of Earth that man has visited. The first man on the moon was Neil Armstrong on the Apollo 11 mission in 1969. The distance between the moon and the earth is 384,400 kilometers. It's not that close, is it? Did you know that we can fit all the planets between them? Every year, the moon gets a little bit further away from the earth. There is less gravity on the moon than on the earth. Because of this difference, you have to jump to what? Like me! You didn't know all this about the moon, did you? Let's go back to the spaceship! Our next stop is... Mars! We are now on Mars, the red planet. We call it that because of its colour. But the name comes from the Roman mythological god of war. Mars is similar to Earth. It has seasons, volcanoes and mountains. But it is smaller and it doesn't have water. There are many wind and sand storms. Be careful and protect yourself. You can get blown away. Hello, Earthling. I welcome you 
to Mars. In the past, there was water in the depths of Mars, but it hasn't been confirmed if there is life or not. Although, some of NASA's photographs show possible life presence. I will tell you some interesting things about it. Due to the high volcanic activity, the mineral tritimite is formed. One of its volcanoes, Mount Olympus, is the biggest in the solar system. It is three times taller than Mount Everest. Mars has two moons, Phobos and Deimos. Phobos keeps getting closer and closer and will eventually crash into Mars. Did you know that the first person to see Mars with a telescope was Galileo in 1610? Did you like our quick trip around Mars? Now you can go back to Earth to share what you've learned. Have a good trip! We are now on Jupiter, the giant planet. The first gaseous planet of the solar system. We can't land on it. It doesn't have a solid surface because it is made of gas and liquids, except for its core that is solid and is as big as the Earth. Wow! Jupiter's so big! It's huge! It is not possible for life on Jupiter, but there could be life on one of its moons that is called Europe because it has a huge ocean. Jupiter has the fastest rotation speed of any planet and one day on Jupiter, it is only 10 hours on Earth. Jupiter's atmosphere has three cloud layers that make the colors that we see. Did you see the big red spot? It is a huge storm. Did you know there have been seven aerial visits to Jupiter? Jupiter has more than 60 moons. The most famous are Europe, Ganymede and Callisto. There are so many that it can be considered a mini solar system. I think we're finished here. Let's go to Saturn. We are now on Saturn, the ring planet. Its rings made of rocks and asteroids are really famous because they are the only ones you can see from Earth with a telescope. We can't land on Saturn because it doesn't have a solid surface. It is made of liquids and gases. Look how pretty. Wow, these rings are so cool! We're on Saturn! It is not possible for there to be life on Saturn because the temperature is very low. It can get as low as minus 180 degrees or minus 292 Fahrenheit. In Saturn's atmosphere, there is helium, a gas that is used for X-rays and spaceships. It is the second biggest planet after Jupiter. Saturn's winds are really fast and reach 300 kilometers per hour and make a hexagon in its North Pole. Did you know that the first person to see Saturn's rings was Galileo in 1610? Saturn's gravitational force is less than on Earth. But even so, it's similar. Did you like this quick trip around Saturn? Grab a pencil and paper! Uranus is waiting for us and has lots of interesting information! Now we're on Uranus, the ice giant. We can't land here because it doesn't have a solid surface. It is made of gases and liquids. Uranus is very far from the Sun, and it has only been visited by the unmanned ship Voyager 2. How was the trip? No life has been found in Uranus because it's very cold and doesn't meet the needs of human life. Although Uranus is much bigger than Earth, its gravitational force is similar to ours because it's not very dense. Did you know that Uranus rotates vertically? The other planets all rotate horizontally. Uranus also has rings, although they aren't so hard to see. There is methane in Uranus's atmosphere that can be used as fuel. This gas gives it its blue color. These facts about Mercury sure are interesting, right? The last stop is Neptune, the farthest planet from the Sun. Now 
we are on Neptune, the ice giant. Its temperature is around 218 degrees Celsius below zero, or 360 degrees Fahrenheit below zero. You are lucky to be here, because it has only been visited by an unmanned spaceship, the Voyager 2. Finally! We made it to the last planet! Neptune! Oh, so cold! Its low temperature makes it impossible for human life! Neptune's gravitational force is similar to Earth's. It is a big planet, but not very dense because it's made of gas and liquids. In Neptune's atmosphere, there is hydrogen, helium and methane that can be used as fuel. This gas gives it its blue colour. Since it's the furthest planet from the Sun, it has a lot of ground to cover and takes 164 Earth years to complete one trip. This is one long year! Its name refers to the Roman god of the oceans for being a blue planet. Now we're all done! It has been a pleasure to share this trip with you! We'll see each other soon, friend! That's it! You completed the mission! Time to go back to Earth to explain your discoveries about the solar system. Great job! Whoa! What a trip! We have learned so much about the solar system! Do you want to learn more? Click on the seal and subscribe to the Smile and Learn channel to stay up to date with all our adventures!